This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today I'm going to talk about finally. Because I woke up this morning and said to myself, well, winter's finally here. So I thought, hey, that's a good subject. Because I think it's something that whether you're an artist or not, many of us um, have an experience with that feeling of trying to get someplace and then you finally arrive and it's like, hmm, it feels good for a moment, right? But then, I've told you that we're, Marianne and I had decided to revisit these Lord of the Ring, or not Lord of the Ring, um, the Hobbit, Hobbit movies. And, you know, I originally didn't care for them when they first came out, and, and they're not... They're not of the caliber of movie that Lord of the Rings were, and they're certainly not the book. But they're based on the book, loosely. And the book is still there, and part of that story that we just got to, we've just been dividing the movies up into one-hour viewings and where we're at now with them is the dwarves have finally gotten their treasure <laughs> and now everybody's going for war, going to war over it and i think it's kind of an interesting metaphor for what our minds tend to do with things and that is to have a, a desire to reach a particular goal whether it's with your painting or with something in life and and lose sight of at least this happens for me and it just happened actually yesterday been working on a project that I'm going to share with you next week so st stay tuned next week will be my I think it's my 10th week of doing these painting spirit videos So, there's this tendency to always be looking to get someplace and not realize that what you're really looking for is the satisfaction, the feeling of satisfaction that it can, it can show up if you reach your goal for the moment. But really, that feeling of satisfaction is something you can get to right here and now. Because it's really that feeling of being present. I've been thinking, so I've been doing these Painting Spirit videos for nine weeks, going on to ten. I think today is actually officially the beginning of 10 weeks of doing these. And I've noticed that these paintings are really quite, quite nice little paintings. And I was thinking about that with today's subject. You know, I've got 
45 of these paintings now and I look through them and I go, wow, these are really quite, quite beautiful little paintings. And I have paintings that I've spent years <laughs> painting on that don't have the freshness or aliveness that these little paintings have that I've been doing. And I'm asking myself why that might be. And really, if I think about it, I'm doing these without the ability to really say to myself, well, I can do this with this painting. I pretty much have to go with the 15-minute period that I'm working on these. You know, I've taken a few of these paintings past the 15 minutes, um, whether I've kept the video rolling or... or turned the video off and worked on it a little bit, but essentially the, I'm not saying to myself, like I say with some of my other paintings that, you know, I guess what it is is that I, I don't have control over the way <laughs> these paintings turn out. And so I kind of let it, let go of that, that desire to control it and just allow what, what's going to show up to show up. So I'm going to do that with today's painting. If you've noticed, that it's kind of a different little thing that I'm doing here with the painting. Just thought I'd play with this. This image seemed to fit the topic I'm picking for today. I just wanted to see what might come of it. So. That's what I'm doing. So I've got all this wet paint here and and I have I'm working from a photo. So I'm just sort of moving paint around, trying to get to a place with, with this painting where it feels kind of, kind of um, what I'm looking to get to with this image that I'm using. And so I'm picking some soft bristle brushes. And allowing the paint to kind of layer on top of each other. I'm not really getting too caught up on the specific image that I'm using. I'm just again playing with abstract colors, even though this is an image that I'm using. looking for the feeling here, the feeling of this picture, this photo. The reason I took the photo was for the feeling it gave me. I was out on a trail. I think it's at Ludington, Ludington State Park. And there's an old building, maybe, I, I'm not even sure, it's been a while since I took this photo, if it's a, a building from logging, logging company or something, stone building, a shelter. I just like this feeling of looking out through the
through the hole in the stones out into the trees. The lighting is a little bit different. I just did these trees here that just wanted to get some color on there. And And that, I just picked up some of the medium. And then, you know, these are little tiny trees back there, but if I try to draw each one of those trees individually, they look a little bit, um, not natural. But just that little bit of playing around with the color, scumbling around there, maybe throwing in some highlights, starts to create something that feels a little more like that feeling of the trees in the background. And again, it's all just playing, 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 and seeing what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. This layering is a big part of the way that I paint. Created some interesting thing happening there. And <clears throat> I'm noticing this tree in the foreground kind of feels blue to me. I want that blue to stand out, so I'm going to just bring in some darker greens around it. And again, just sort of playing with the, the details in there. Keeping the paint fresh and alive. Sort of just brought that tree forward. Maybe adding some little bit of red there. Really not working from the photo specifically right now. I'm just sort of doing what I do with the abstractions, just playing with the color, layering. Uh, added something that little purple added something interesting I'm just allowing myself to play with the details to give that sense of looking out through something be letting some of that detail disappear as I blend it Pops that tree out, that ghostly looking tree. Now that I did that, maybe I want to bring something on top of that. No color, just white. So I got the blue there. So I had this photo that I'm attempting to create this sensation of looking out into something. I probably had more of a goal than I have had with some of my other paintings, so it's Kind of taking a little bit of a different approach, but there is there's some there's some life there seems to be anyway. So this weekend, enjoy the snow and remember that what you're looking for is the satisfaction, and that satisfaction can be reached right here. Nothing needs to change. 
You don't need to be anywhere, go anywhere to feel that feeling of satisfaction. Look for it within yourself. Get out your own brushes. I'm always talking about getting out your own brushes. That's a metaphor. You know what your personal brushes are. It doesn't have to be painting, but there's something inside of you that you are looking for. And those are your personal brushes. Get those out this weekend. Enjoy. Have fun. And we'll see you on Monday.